Hello everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss about file weight in detail. So let's begin our session. This is the agenda of the session. Uh, we will discuss about you know file weight and overview, its component, file weight configuration file, how to configure input type in file weight, important properties of input type log. So this is this input type log is used when we want to collect the data from log file. How multi line works in FileBeat, how to configure output type in FileBeat. So first, what is FileBeat? FileBeat is a part of Elastic Stack and it works seamlessly with Logstash, Elasticsearch and Kibana. And FileBeat is used as a data shipper and or collector in the ELK stack application. So basically, FileBeat is used to get the data from the input. So input could be Kafka, input could, could be log file, input could be AWS S3. So, so here I have posted one diagram. So in this diagram, I have mentioned the input all possible inputs and all possible output so file can work with many input sources like uh, kafka log file mqtt tcp udp aws s3 so i have mentioned all these here docker and the output is here so the output could be elastic search log stash kafka redis even file system or console. So these are the all possible outputs edge of version 8.2 and these are all the possible left side all the possible inputs. So let's move on to the next. So next is the components of the file bit. So mainly there are two components of file bit. One is the input and another is the harvester. So in input, input is responsible for managing the harvesters and finding all source to read from. So input helps to, to know from where file we need to read the data. So like uh, if we are using the input type is log, then input component will help uh, basically file we to understand what are all the paths from where file we need to read the data and also input start the harvester for each file the second is the harvester so harvester is the component which actually read from the source from the input source and this harvester read the data line by line by default and send the data to the output so the output which we have discussed in the previous slide. So the purpose of an harvester to read the data line by line from the source and send it to the output. So this is the important component. One harvester is started for every file. So now we will see the configuration file related to file bit. So the configuration file will have the extension as dot ml yml and the name normally we use as a file v dot ml so it is not mandatory to have this name we can have uh, any name of our choice default this is when we start the file bit then if we are using this default file v dot ml then we don't have to give the name of the configuration file in the start command but if we are using some other name, then we need to mention the name of the configuration file in the start command. So mainly the file bit configuration will have two components, the inputs and the output. So the input component is the one where we mention the source of the file bit. So data source. So like Kafka or log file or and the output is the one where we are file bit will send the event or will send the data to 
so like in this particular sample the output is the log status it is sending to and this is the host log status server or local host 5045 so here the this the file width will send the data here so in output we can use the components which we have already discussed about input and output diagram and the inputs and the all possible sources we also discuss in that the the diagram which we discussed in previous slides so this is the pattern here or this is the how the file width configuration file look like so the next is the input configuration so as we mentioned you know as i mentioned that uh, configuration file will have two main input type and the output so this uh, now we will discuss the input configuration so these are the all possible sources as of version 8.2 like aws s3 azure container which is for docker log mqtt redis so all these possible sources so with these components or the data source the file width in integration is possible so fr from all these sources file width can get the data and send to the output component so if we want to like this is the uh, edge of version 8.2 in future some more data source can be added so i have mentioned the link here you can go and check this particular link here to go to this link so it will give you all possible configuration inputs so here you can see uh, the input type so all these are the possible sources as of eight, version 8.2 so in future in the next version might possible that more input source can be added so as per our requirement we, we can use that particular input type so like for the monitor to get the data from log file we can use the input type log or the file stream like to indicate with the file to integrate with the kafka we can use the input type as kafka so here from here we can check which all possible sources of data from where the file bit can take the data so now we have just discussed like all possible sources so we will check this particular log demo will be based on the log file so how to monitor the log of the application that's why we are discussing the log input type log in detail so i have mentioned the you know link here also where you can go and visit the log input and related configuration or related proper properties related to input file input type log so here we can you can check the properties of label related to input type log so now main properties i have mentioned here also first is the type so this is the type used to mention the input basically the source of the file bit data so the log or it could be kafka it could be mqtt it could be aws s3 path so path is basically the path of the log file fields so this field property is used to add the extra field in the file bit output so so by default what would be the output of the file bit output would be the line from the log file and some metadata and suppose we want to add some custom field so for that we use the fields property we will see this in the demo also ex ex exclude lines suppose uh, we want to exclude or skip the particular line of the log file uh, from the output of the file bit for that we can use this exclude lines exclude file suppose we are monitoring the particular folder so suppose we are getting the data from particular folder so all files present in particular folder but we don't want to get the data from one particular file for that we can use the exclude file we can give the pattern and that uh, and uh, the file bit will not get the data from that file include lines so like uh, if we want to include particular line in the output suppose we have a 10 line in the log file but we want to include line only which starts with the abc so for that we can use this property include lines 
the enabled is to enable or disable particular input type so suppose uh, we have a more than one input type we have a data source is the log we also have a kafka so we can you know use this enabled property to enable disable the input data source so by default is the enabled is to do fields under root we have discussed right fields so when we use this fields uh, normally it would be part of the fields object of the output of the file bit but suppose we don't want to make the that particular field under the field object if we use this property basically it would be part of the root of that particular json so if we mention this fields under a root then that particular fields would be part of the root of the basically fi file with output so it will not be part of the fields uh, basically json object we will see this also next is the encoding so uh, this property help us to mention the encoding type like utf8 or 16 scan frequency so this uh, property help us to mention the the duration after which the file bit will get the data from input source so default is a 10 second so basically scan frequency is 10 means every 10 second data will be read from the file or input source close inactive this is the one which we mentioned when we were discussing about the harvester so for every file uh, input component open the harvester when this option is enabled file bit closes the file handle if file had not been harvest for a specified duration the default value of this is the 5 minute so the harvester will wait for the 5 minute after the last read once that close inactive time is expired expired then harvester would be closed so the default is the 5 minute means suppose after the last read harvester will, will wait for the 5 minute if the file or input source is not updated even after five minutes then it, the harvester would be closed this is the use of the close inactive now the important property is the multi-line by default harvester of file would read the data from input source or log file line by line right I, I already mentioned this line by line suppose i want to read the data in a group like i want to read few lines like for the java stack trace right for the exception i mean reading the line by line will not help i want to read whole exception whole stack trace for that file we have in the one property multi-line which help us to read the data in group we will see this practically this also for now just under there is a property level which can combine the line and send the data to the output component for now for now we need to know like which all things are available with file bit demo session we will see all these things multi-line is to combine the basically line and send the data and send that those lines in a single event to the file bit output line related property are multi-line dot type multi-line dot pattern multi-line negate multi-line after so we will see all this so start keep in mind that the multi-line is the feature available which will combine the the log file lines and put in the single event it is widely used for the to reading the stack trace in the java application at setting of the multi-line so we will see this i will explain this when we will see the demo so these are the use of multi like this example of multi-line pattern is so i want to read i want to get the data i want to read all these lines together together all these lines together means the file bit will send all these lines all four lines in the single event to the output of the file bit by default if we are not using the multi-line then file bit will read the data read every line and then send the each line in the separate event to the file bit output so this is the use of multi-line output configuration so as of now all these output sources are available 
just let me open this also like uh, in the next or coming versions uh, elastic search can add the more output like so available console file system redis kafka log stress elastic search elastic service okay so these are the available sources so sorry available output of the file bit so means uh, with these output sources with these output component file bit can be integrated so like file bit can send the data to the log stress so here i have given the example file bit getting the data from log file and sending to the log stress so here suppose you want to check something related or you want to configure the log stack then we can click here and see the log stress related configuration so so the important configuration are the log stress output here we can see this so this is this tell this which output type we are using here we are using log stress the host so the the basically host of the host server of the log stress load balance true so this is the load balance property like suppose we have mentioned here two nodes then file width will be send, file width will send the data to the two nodes so like one event can be sent to the first node second can be sent to the so this is like a load balancer function index this is the name of the index basically file width so it will be used in the elastic search so this particular file bit will be file bit index will be created in the elastic search we will see this enabled to enable disable particular output type timeout if it's not able to or not able to communicate for particular time period then it will be time out the particular operation metadata every event sent to log stack contain the following metadata so the file bit uh, sending the data to the or output to the log stress will send this file bit and the version 8.2.0 so file, version of the file bit so this is the complete uh, uh, the basically the file bit configuration file with all properties which we have discussed previously but type is the log here we have so we can configure more than one input the log first is the log input type log and here is so based on the requirement we can configure more than one inputs the paths the multi-line configuration i have mentioned like include lines scan frequency close inactive so the the extra field if you want to add so here i have had apache under root so we need to make this true exclude lines so the line is starting with b starting with dbg will not be part of the file file with output exclude file having the file which have the extension dot gz will not be the file with will not read the data from that dot g gz extension file output of the so so this here how we can you how we can configure the file with configuration file whatever we have discussed we will see in the demo session all these things we will see demo session so it will be more clear there so this is all about uh, file bit in next session we will see the demo of file bit how we how we can configure how we can check the output of file bit all or multi line or multi line configuration also thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel to get notification about new videos and also post the comment in the comment section for any feedback or any queries Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.